He is rich, he has an ego, and he's dumb. I've been uh, crushing puss. This girl had a real strong grip, gave me a strong gripped uh, hand job. I had to fucking get wrist control. And then she squeezed my balls, and I was like, ouch. I have a question. Is that what you call crushing puss? <laughs> <laughs> That, that, that seemed more like love on the spectrum. Like, really? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> the heavyweight champion of the world. What do you do for work, heavyweight champion of the world? I'm a, I'm a TikToker. TikTok? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow, is I'm that a, the noise your pacemaker makes all the time? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a food vlogger on TikTok. A food blogger? Yes, Holy sir. shit. How's the diabetes? Uh, it's not there yet, surprisingly. When's the last time you saw a doctor? Um, in, in the summer of last year. And what happened last summer that you went and visited a doctor? Uh, one of my friends died in his sleep, so I was like, oh shit. I took that as a warning. Yeah. That's what you needed as a warning. Yeah. Oh, it was all going so well. And then my friend suddenly, we lost him. It rocked my world. And I thought, could I also have health problems? Could I, could I also be at risk for fucking completely falling apart? What did the doctor tell you when you were there? Um... I mean, I got all my blood work done. Um, you mean mud work? <laughs> <laughs> this shit was coming out thick, dude. And, and I mean, yeah, he was like, you, you, need to, you need to get healthier, you're going to fucking die. Like, so straight up. What have you done since then death. to get healthier? Have you lost weight? Have you added weight? What do you think? Uh, yeah, I, I've, I have lost some weight. I've gained some back over the holidays, but uh. I, I stopped drinking. What were you drinking before? Beer and tequila, Lone Star. Okay. What's your weight, buddy? Uh, like 520. 520. Absolutely unbelievable. And when you're when you are sleeping, do you have trouble breathing and stuff like that? No, 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 no. I'm good. I'll take a nap right now. No, I'm just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do, do you think like food blogging is probably a bad idea though? I mean, I don't know. Pays I mean, the bills. I trust. I trust him on it. Me too. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> if, if diet tips, I would not this go Texas. for Texas. Blogging and blobbing. Both Here of these things. Here for a good time, not a long time, man. What's your love life like? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Is there a... Oh, uh, it's, it's is fucking... Is there a Mrs. Piece of Shit? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, absolutely messy. I take what I can get. They're all... What can you get? Every every single one of them is insane and not on like some gaslighting shit. Like they're all on ketamine and fucking okay. supremely depressed. Okay. But usually they're pretty hot. So how does that? How, where, where do you meet these ketamine fueled depressed girls? Uh, pff, dude, San Antonio. They're all like in the food service industry. <laughs> and what's your what's? <laughs> that's a very honest answer. <laughs> Honesty goes a long way in these interviews. I mean, it's a, the ultimate note. So you take them back to your bed. What kind of bed are we looking at? I here? usually take them to a hotel room. That's, why? Why would you take a girl to a hotel room? Uh, my mom's disabled. I, I take care of my mom. But take care of my mom since I was twelve years old. What's uh, What's her disability? She's got a uh, fucked up back. She's got like four herniated discs in her neck, and then uh, just several other things that stem from there. And you don't. No, no. Is she I, I work, is I work she... like 60 hours a week. Uh, I'm pretty good. That's crazy. How old are you? 36. 36. 36. Is your mom big, a big lady too? Uh, yeah, but she got weight loss surgery like two years ago, she's, so she's slimming down. Have you thought about getting the surgery? Yeah, I did. I did think about it. I was going to get it, and then I lost like 30K in crypto. So. Oh, crypto. I thought he was going to say 30 ki kilos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like... Wow. So the crypto market is the reason why you're not getting the surgery. Uh, yeah, basically. Okay. To the ground. <laughs> That's a crypt crypto. He's, he's trying to do a crypto joke. How much do you need for this surgery? Do you know? 
Uh, last time I checked, I went in the summer of 16K. Uh-huh. Yeah. 16K? 16,000. That doesn't seem like That's that much. That's how much it is? Yeah, but I can't get a loan on it, and I don't have health insurance, so... Why don't we do something fun? Why don't we, <laughs> when this episode comes out... Who from the audience a, would like to give $16,000 to... Anybody? <laughs> anybody? No? Wait, so what are you going to say, though? I think that uh, you should do a fucking GoFundMe, and when this episode comes out, we'll <laughs> funnel people to it, and maybe it'll change your... You don't yeah. have long to live. I know, I know. I don't know how, ex- I don't know how <laughs> I'm an direct your doctor was to you. <laughs> Sudden but, death, he said, yeah. verbatim. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Yeah. You have, like, fucking minutes, dude. <laughs> it's actually, you might not make it to the episode release. We're, like, two <laughs> or three weeks behind. We'll put it in the, the, the link on the YouTube, so right below. If you make it, it's going to be done. I, gar- I guarantee Literally. you we raise enough money yeah, for yeah. you to have the surgery. One penny a person, we'll get you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, but you have to fucking, you have to spend it on the surgery. No doubt about it, man. I take care of my mom. I, I work so much. And But if I mean, you raise 70000 you can use leftovers for tacos. <laughs> Frankie Ryans. How we doing? How we doing, man? I'm so excited to be here tonight. I decided to wear what we call a woo-hoo shirt. You know what a woo-hoo shirt is? Woo-hoo! <laughs> now, I'm on the apps, and most of the time when I say apps, people think I'm talking about appetizers. But I'm talking about Tinder, Hinge, Bumble for this guy, Grinder. Uh, I matched with this girl, and she told me that she was a vegan. So as you can tell, we didn't have too much in common. Uh, we decided to go out for drinks and not dinner because there was no way I was going to pay for, like, rabbit food, you know? Uh, drinks went well. We head back to my place. Things start getting hot and heavy. And like the gentleman I am, I drop my hand down low. She goes, I'm sorry. I'm on my period. I said, don't worry, baby. I eat my steak with a little bit of blood in it. <laughs> she wasn't having it. After a minute, you know, it started going back towards me. She started fighting the one-eyed champion, you know, jerking the gherkin. I said, baby, I'm sorry. You're going to have to put your mouth on it. She goes, excuse me? You think a vegan will put meat in her mouth? I said, how else does a vegan girl get down? She put my legs behind my head and started tossing my salad. (laughs) Thank you. Wow. That's a lot of salad. It's one of those Olive Garden never-ending salad bowls right there. (laughs) There's a few croutons in that salad, I'm guessing. (laughs) Croutons. <laughs> Crew uh, um, what's your poison? How do you get to be that big? If it wasn't for the heavyweight oh, champion of shit. the world, you'd be the biggest guy we've had on this show in a long time. But. Yeah, I like to tell people it's probably drinking, but it's fucking McChickens, dude. Oh, okay. Yeah. McChickens? Okay. Yeah, man. It's We're such s- a fucking deal. You can go to Chick fil A and get <laughs> one chicken sandwich or $4 get you four McChickens. Right. Yeah. Right. What it's do you steal. think? Do you think that it's actual chicken? No. Right. No, if it was actual chicken, I wouldn't look that bad, dude. Right. <laughs> chicken is a healthier meat. Jesus. You don't go Chick fil A at all. Hey, uh, Tony. No, I mean, yeah. The so, black guys behind us are really murmuring at this chicken talk. Yeah, what's going on back here? You guys, uh, you say chicken three times, D Madness and John D start arguing over nothing. <laughs> what's going on back here? <laughs> Matt's in it too? Oh, absolutely. What, is he the one that eats the white bread for you guys? <laughs> <laughs> What's your love life like, Frankie? Who are you, um, you out there bre- 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 breaking beds? Uh, <laughs> um, I actually built a mega bed. Uh huh. Would you like to hear about it? Yes. Uh, right, yes so we my would. girlfriend moved in with me, uh-huh. and I have an adjustable base frame queen. Uh huh. The king bed is like way too expensive to buy. Right. Obviously, I'm not sharing a bed with another person on a queen. Right. Right. So I strapped her bed to my bed. Hold on, Ari, go ahead. Because you're fat? (laughs) You're fast with it, dude. Yeah. 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 So you're not sharing a bed. Keep going. So I strapped her uh, bed to my bed, and they don't come apart. You strapped it. Strapped it like fucking. So it's a king and a queen wrapped together. No, 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 no. It's a queen and a fool. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's a mega bed. It's a mega bed, man. (laughs) Such a cool name. We were expecting you to actually build something. You just strapped a couple fucking beds together. I thought it was pretty innovative. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I like it. Two kings would be cool, though. Yeah, I just don't have the room for it. I don't know if I told you, but I budget for McChickens. So. Right. 
My room's yeah. not that big. He is loving it. Robert Lee, everybody. Uh, Robert, what's the greatest quality about you? Uh, I mean, not to be gay, but I love the fuck out of my wife and all my family. Like, shit, I'm the most loyal person you actually fucking meet. Well, it's easy to be loyal when absolutely nobody wants to fuck you, isn't it? Uh, you know, I had my time, but I met my wife young. Yeah, we've uh, been married for, uh, like I said, like 12, 12 years. years. Yeah. How old do you know? 30. So 18, damn. Yeah, so, H- Have yeah. you ever fucked anybody other than your wife? High school, some college, I mean... Also some cheating here, though, right? Uh, you can cut, that, you can cut this part out. <laughs> there's, there's a couple months we don't talk about in there, but it's all right. Okay. Yeah. Oh. What are those couple months? Yeah, <laughs> I love to talk I like about like the it. beginning. Just yeah. the beginning. You were goofing around a little bit? I was goofing. I found out she goofed uh, after. <laughs> I took it harder than her, obviously. But wow, <laughs> I doubt that. Sure. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. yeah. Uncle Laser. Are we sure uh, almond milk ain't making everybody trans? Right? Well, we used to have a hole in 2%. Everybody had strong bones, and we had regular gays. <laughs> and boy, they're getting hard to spot, aren't they? I'm messing back and forth with this girl from Miami, right? What I thought was a girl. You know, she said, hey, I do the only fans. She some of my content. Now I said, oh, come on, right? She didn't send it to me. The next morning, she sent me a text saying, oh, shit, I did not send that to Uncle Laser. I sent that to my Uncle Mike. I said, Thanksgiving's going to be weird, nah. <laughs> she then, uh, she goes, I was like, but you know, like, your parents know you do the OnlyFans. She said, you should be all right. She goes, yeah, but they don't know I transition. And I said, what do you mean? <laughs> like, anally to vaginally? Like, what are you talking about? She said, oh, you didn't read my bio? I said, bitch, I don't fucking read. <laughs> but we'll see. <laughs> Uncle Laser. With a new minute. What is that thing you keep doing with your tongue? What's going on there? You become more lizard-like every time you come on the show. Well, I, I seen Ari's nuts up there, and let me tell you what. Uh-oh, look at that. It's a real sauerkraut of a situation for a Jewish man down there, you know what I'm talking about? Uh-oh. He keeps that motherfucking thing on him. Oh, my God. Un- un- Uncle Lizard is here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. That ball is shaped like the heavyweight champion of the world. It's got shelves. There's veins. Oh my god, don't pull Dude, on him yeah, like that. Why are you so rough with it? Oh. Oh my god. The most sold-out show in comedy, and this is what goes on at it. <laughs> we'll be right back. Dustin Horton, everyone. Just starting stand-up now. What made you want to start this now? This cocktail of trauma that I've Tell had us in my about life. the trauma. Tell us. <laughs> Tell us. We want to fucking hear it. I want to hear about your dad. You want to hear about my dad? Uh, three years ago, he blew his brains out high on crystal meth. Okay. Um, did he leave a note? He did not leave a note, no. That could be your fault, by the way, for not reaching out. Yeah. Um, where's the rest of that meth? You kind of caused that yourself. Damn, um, it wasn't the crystal meth. It was your lack of communication. Um, what did you go to state prison for? We robbed a restaurant across from my house. It was during a nighttime when there was nobody there. I got charged with a class D felony in the state of New York, and I did a two to six year sentence. I got sent to this prison boot camp, basically, for nine months. Okay. For lobster and beer, where did your friends get? Uh, this, well, most of them got six months, five years probation, because they finally I don't believe snitched. that story. I don't believe it. It seems like there's something more something to it. More. Lobster something and more. beer. He stole a lot of lobster and beer is what he's saying. How much lobster did you steal and how did they, how were they able to find They you? caught us because the restaurant case. Oh, we did beer. rape a waitress while we were there as well. 
Oh, I should have mentioned the the, the the rape. Yeah, yeah. Now that I think about it, that might have been associated. Restaurant with beer is. <laughs> you're also you're you're homosexual, correct? I am not. No. No. <laughs> You sure? How about in boot camp? Did you come out of your shell? No, sir. Uh, no cracking any claws out there? No, I'm very straight. How straight are you? Explain to us the straightest thing you've ever done before. Just... Mm. Not that easy of a question for a gay man, is it? <laughs> Your father actually, you know, knew you were a homosexual. That's probably why. That's why he started the meth addiction, kept it a secret, just like you kept your sexuality a secret. And he also uh, blew and gave head, like you do. Right at the very end, he gave head to the wall that was behind him. Jesus Christ. Oh, too sad. Oh. Oh. What fucking show do you think you came to? Colin Herkler, Hochler, Horchler. Most interesting thing about your entire life? Uh, I'm a licensed gunsmith and an ordained minister. I do a lot of. Wow. That's a good one two combo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Texas. This yeah. is where you live? No, I'm actually from St. Louis, Missouri. Okay. St. Yeah. Louis, Missouri. You're straight? Yeah. You kind of have not. a little twang in your voice. I'm from St. Louis. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. You hear that? Well, I mean... Straightest thing about you? Uh, I did have a threesome with two actual human females in Mexico. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at that. Two human females. Good answer. A quick, yeah. And a quick one, too. Yeah, like, very quick answer. Something. Not pondering up here like fucking Dustin Horton. Straight. What is straight? <laughs> yeah. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri, and I had sex with I had a threesome <laughs> in Santa Anita, Mexico. <laughs> she was so sweet. Zach Butkovich, everybody. Zach Butkovich. Yeah. Sweet. What's up? I just went on a date with a girl recently, and she asked me when the last time I got tested for STDs was. I was like, are you serious? Never. Yeah, I treat STDs like I treat poison ivy. If I ain't itching, I ain't fucking got it. <laughs> and either way, I should probably quit fucking in those bushes. Yeah, I've been, uh, I haven't been in like, a, uh, in like a relationship in a couple of years, and my buddy told me, he was like, yeah, dude, that's because you're gay. He said, yeah, dude, you're single because you're gay. And just to prove to him I wasn't gay, I sent him a video of me jerking off to a woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, who's fucking gay now, dude? I'm fucking jerking off to a woman. You're watching me jerk off. What could be gayer than that? All right, I think that's it. I'm, that's good. Thank 55 you. seconds. That was good. Nice. Thank you. That was good, Zach. Uh, tell us more about your life. Tell us, uh, how do you end up like this? Well, <laughs> well I'm diabetic. Uh, wow. Yeah. You're diabetic. Yes, I oh, am diabetic. What? Of all the people that have been on this stage yeah, tonight. I'm the diabetic guy. It wasn't heavyweight champion or whatever the fuck. There is no God. Yeah. It makes zero <laughs> sense. You're diabetic. All yeah. the obese people are not diabetic. Red band, not diabetic. Ugh. How long have you been diabetic for? How did you end up like that? Uh, I got diabetes. It's been uh, 12 years now. I got it when I was 15 and a half. You How the did kid you... kind. Yeah, I got the kid kind, and now I'm an adult with it. So Damn. still wow. have it. Wow. Wow. Incredible. So <laughs> you can't... You, how often do you have to check your blood? I check my blood sugar probably like... Five, six times a day. Wow. Oh, wow. That is amazing. <laughs> Sergio Guzman. Kids these days have it tough, man. It's such a confusing time to be a kid. Think about it. Your mom might be walking around with a huge cock. Your dad might be walking around with a nice set of tits. And your middle school libraries are trying to teach you how to suck and fuck both. All right. That was not the one. All right. Illegal immigration has gotten completely out of control. 
something needs to be done. We need to start sending people back. My beautiful wife, sitting somewhere over there, she's pregnant with our firstborn. She came here illegally. Send her back. <laughs> we'll end it there. That might be the best I got. I think it probably was the best you got. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Have you, did you buy that large joke book? I didn't. So last, I was on about a year ago. Uh-huh. I bombed, and then my wife came up, and I was roasted for about 15 minutes about being gay. Uh huh. And then she earned us both a joke book because you called her up. She roasted me. Uh-huh. Did amazing. So she got the joke book. She got the joke. No, it- we both got one because you were generous. Right. But she earned it. I, I was just a lucky bystander. Is she here tonight? She is absolutely here tonight. Really? She's right over there. Well, we haven't had a female comedian up tonight. Did she write a minute? She has a minute. She prepared yeah, she a minute? Signed up. She signed Hold up. on a second. A new minute from oh, Patricia Guzman, everybody. Last time I was on this show, I made a bunch of jokes about my husband being gay. <laughs> jokes on me. Here I am a year later, knocked up with his gay baby. <laughs> what a life I love my gay baby. <laughs> Not this page. Okay. Uh, Immigrants these days have it way easier than I did when coming to the US. Nowadays they're handed a cell phone, a thousand bucks and told to fuck off. Back in my day, they threw my four year old ass in jail. Before jail, I had never seen a black woman before. So being a four year old, I thought they were made out of chocolate. Um, My face would light up in the shower and I would scream at my mom, Mom, it's chocolate women. Long story short, uh, my mom would be terrified every time we would hit the showers because I wanted to lick them. (laughs) That's it. Okay, Patricia, adorable. An honest minute. I like that. Again, funnier than your man. How long have you been with Sergio? Uh, 12 years this year. 12 years. What's the gayest thing about Sergio? He likes to be a little spoon. Oh, <laughs> Sergio. I, I like being I the big spoon. I don't mind. All right. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> That's a really good gay thing. Yeah. Yeah. Good detail. Yeah. You like being the little spoon, too? Oh, yeah, too? yeah. I have a little oh. Asian girl on your back. Like, you're like <laughs> Star Wars, you know, like with the Ewok and stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's great. Totally. <laughs> okay, so is this your first kid? Yes. What are you going to name it? Oh, yeah. Olerion? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Olerion? What the fuck is wrong with you? So, Olerion? <laughs> your best friend picked the name? Your best friend is fucking with you. Olerion? That's like a prescription medicine or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Red Band, very good. Red Band. Bookending the episode with two great well. jokes. The two biggest applause breaks of the night going to Red Band. For those of you that had that on your bingo cards, you win $2.5 billion. Um, <laughs> so July 1st, that thing's coming, huh? Sergio, are you just blasting away inside of her until then? Does it just look like a fucking horchata machine down there? What's going on? What are you doing? What's going on? It's just fucking... That's exactly right. We're on vacation tonight, so she's getting some horchata, if you know what I mean. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. Are you hornier now that you're pregnant? Wow. Oh, fuck. (laughs) Even when you look at his face? I mean... (laughs) Ari primed her with a hell of a set of balls, so I... He did have to work for me. Oh, my goodness. That's incredible. How much hornier are you? Is there new things that you're into or uh, you find yourself uh, doing? I like getting lotion rubbed on my belly. Oh, he's been rubbing lotion on you? Oh, my goodness gracious. Look at Sergio over here. Managing accounts and lotioning up fucking bodies. Wow. Incredible. So you ever save a little lotion for yourself, Sergio? Only when she's asleep. Only when she's asleep. Wow. Okay. And then you think are about you, dudes. Uh, are you more? T- <laughs> Hell yeah. Can we change the baby's name to Tony live on the air? Can we just do that? Yeah. Olerion sucks. Terrible. Olerion sucks. You're dooming that kid. You're and doing. First of all, he'll definitely go by Raphael. That's a beautiful black guy's name. Yeah, but it's not black, John. 
How we do we, we love that you're standing. But it's the name got, of a beautiful black man. We it got could Black be. Panther John D's up here. Like, <laughs> oh, I think it's a beautiful name. <laughs> hey, it's a beautiful name. <laughs> oh shit. Will you change it to Anthony? We could work on it. Well, oh, working on it doesn't work. You're blacklisted <laughs> if you don't do it. Brownlisted wow. if you don't do it. Wow. I, I'm throwing it around now. Okay, John. That's really not going to work. It's not going to be a full-time thing here. <laughs> Antonio? I like that. I, I mean, like why that. not give it a name Tony? I like yeah. Antonio. Antonio Guzman. Rafael Guzman. Antonio Rafael Guzman. I like that. I like that. Let's make it official. Let's make it official. Wait, 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 wait. Let's make it official. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Baby's first teabagging. <laughs> Sergio doesn't know what to do. He's hard as a rock right now. I dub thee Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Hello, my name is actually Sergio Guzman, and I don't know who that bitch was, but I'm not gay, so. Uh, A lady who cut off her bosoms to become a man just found out she's five months pregnant. It's kind of hard to follow, but I think that means he's gay. Kentucky is about to legalize killing homeless people, which is kind of shocking because I thought it was already legal there. (laughs) I know I've killed six homeless people in Kentucky, so. How could I be racist when my favorite Power Ranger is black? Good night, everybody.